So Martin, we've arrived in Poland. Yeah. What's your first thoughts? Uh, firstly, I want to recover first. You know, it's a beautiful weather. I'm still a little bit tired, but I'm okay. I'm recovering already, but I'm ready to go. Two days I mean, to go. it was a long journey over, wasn't it? it oh, was very long. Very tiring journey. Yeah, two um, hours and a half in the flight and uh, two hours in the bus. So, mm, you know, yeah. when you come to work, it's like a soldier. Doesn't care, don't care about the hours. I'm um, looking forward for the Saturday night. I mean, let's talk about Saturday night. Um, talk about your opponent and this opportunity to box here. First show, yeah. uh, first show with Boxer, new promotion. Yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. You know, uh, Sky Sport and Boxer is a big team in the UK and now I'm living in the UK. So I thank God uh, Saturday night I'm going to be in a big platform in the world. So everyone's going to watch it. I'm so excited and ready to show them uh, how capable I am. I mean, Martin, let's talk about yourself. You're WBA number two now. Yeah. You know, you've beat the likes of Tony Oka, who's an Olympic you know, gold medalist, yeah. went over and beat him in his own backyard. Maybe many people, like the boxing fraternity know who you are, but people outside of that may not know who you are right now. Yeah. I mean, you've sparred with the best. You've been in with the best, Alexander Rusik, Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. Tell us about those sparring and how it went. Yeah, like you mentioned, Tony Yoka's fight. If you see Tony Yoka, people have not seen Martin Bacole because if you watch that fight, you see first round, soon Tony, uh, Tony Yoka feel my power. You know, he went down in the first round and he started running away. But if he came to fight me, I want people to come to fight me, you know. Now boxing is a fighting, exchange the punch. And uh, as to know, people, uh, they will discover, they will see me more in the ring. Uh, so now uh, build it up my career. And, uh, and now I think you know, on a Saturday night, people will see new Martin Bacoli, different from uh, Tony, uh, Tony Oka. And uh, inspiring, you know, I already say everything, I'm saying it every day. I've been in there with the music, I've been with Joshua, uh, Joe Joyce. I don't know, I was surprised one day I saw um, the video of me and Joe Joyce in the ring, in the sparring. I don't know who posted that, but uh, uh, it is what it is. And people see what I've done to him. So that is the fight I want. So, but I can't get that because they're avoiding me. You're now WBA number two, so you're knocking on the door now. Sooner or later, these guys are going to have to fight you, aren't they? There's been rumours, Martin, of you know the four he the top heavyweights like Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, Alexander Usyk, Tyson Fury, doing this, you know, four-man competition out in Saudi Arabia. You know, what would you say to that? And would you want to be in that mix? Why not me? So, because the world is coming after me. Why not me where I guess Wilder? And I'm surprised, but I don't know why they choose, they already choose, but I'm ready. And I'm knocking a door, like you said again. And I want to be in that, you know, I want maybe face Wilder or Uzik. If, they, you know, that will happen, I'll be so happy. And, uh, you know, I can't talk too much because it's now ready to, people want to see a big fight and people want to see Martin Bakola because I've been talking a lot and mention their name, nobody responds. So it's time now, I'm calling the guys, it's time now to make a you know, big big fight, even in UK, everywhere. I mean, you don't really talk too much, do you? Like I, I say, you're sparring. Yeah. I've actually seen you sparring <laughs> with Derek Jazora down at our gym yeah. many years ago. I mean, Derek Jazora, is that a name that would sort of come into the mix for you? Is that someone that you would be interested uh, in fighting? Are you looking beyond that? No, Derek Jazora is a good guy, you know, he's a good guy. Uh, but as far, uh, only, I have only three, four hands with him. But after that, you know, I went down to help him for two, one week here. Yeah. I only spy him one time, and second time he says, not ready. So from there, I never spy him again. But he's a good guy. He's not my level, to be honest. And he knows that uh, I'll smash him, school him, for spying. And I was you not know, coming here. I knew I was not good the experience I've got now. I give him a hard time. Everyone who share a ring with me in the gym knows that Martin Bacol is not is a beast. Because if I'm beating you in your gym, but imagine now in the fight. I mean, what's the roadmap for you now, Martin? When are you looking to get those title shots? These titles could be tied up if this competition goes on out in Saudi. Yeah. If that happens, where are you looking to go? Where are you? You know, who are you looking to fight? Are you looking at the likes of? I mean, Joe Joyce just just lost. You know, to Zhang. Zhang, is that an opponent you've been looking at? Yeah, like, yeah. are you looking at those sort of names? Of course, you know, like you mentioned, I'm number two ranking WBA. Uh, when I was, I, I didn't start, I didn't start calling them out now. I've been calling them you now for long, for age now. Nobody respond. And uh, I told them, I told my team, 
No, we're not. We call these people out. Nobody's responding. It's no time to work on to be a mandatory challenger. Thank God today I'm a number two. And uh, after this fight, I don't know. WBA is going to for me. Maybe I'll be number one challenger for WBA. That's all. No, WBA regular. Who, who doesn't the boards got that? Why not? Uzik, why not put me in that in a side your heavy? So I'm ready for that. I mean, you seem to fast be becoming the chairman of the who needs him, who wants him club. Yeah. It's a case of them having to fight you before choosing you as a voluntary fight? I think maybe it's like that. I think because you now that question, uh, Billy is in a good position to answer that because all I know in my head is fighting. Mm -hmm. So uh, my managers find me for the fight. You know, my team, they're working on it. And all I want is to be in the ring. Mm, so yeah. fight, that the, all that is all, all I know. Well, Saturday that, that journey continues. But look, Martin, yeah. I've got some questions actually. We put on the Boxer Instagram site put it out there for some questions <laughs> to for Martin Bracoli. Yeah. And these are some of the questions that come in. Yeah. So you had a great response, by the way. <laughs> great response. Got a question for you here, Martin. Yeah. Who do you think is the most overrated heavyweight boxer right now? I think Dylan White. Dylan White? Yeah. Wow. Dylan White. Really? Yeah. Is that a fight that you'd like? I would love it because I've been calling him out, no, no response. Uh, he called my coach and he wanted me to give him spying. Mm. And after two hours, I called again to cancel. I don't know why. Really? Yeah. Well, listen, I know that Dylan's looking for a fight right now. He was at the Joe Joyce fight the other, the other night. Oh, yeah, I saw you that. You got a message for Dylan? Hey, Dylan White. Come on, let's do it. You pick Chizora, you pick all other guys. Why not me? Because you know what, you know, what will happen to you. Nice. Brilliant. Yeah. All right. Who is the biggest puncher you've sparred with? That's a good one. Um, Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua the biggest puncher? Big puncher because, yeah, no, maybe I'm wrong or maybe I'm not. But since I'm before I despite them, it's the only guy who punched me with back hand. Mm. And I feel that because, you no, know, I'm moving a lot. I don't allow people to touch me. He's the only guy, but I take it. And I feel it was, no, this is a punch. I never get punched like that. But you know, it's the only punch that I get. You know, soon I've been spying them. I mean, he's taken a bit of criticism lately, Anthony Joshua. Do you think that he's got before, the capability to make it back to the top and become before, world champion? Before he lost, because I'm not talking about Anthony Joshua now, but I'm talking about Anthony Joshua before he lost his fight. Mm. Because if you see Anthony Joshua before he lost, he was aggressive. Was tight, so he was having his man in the ring, want to knock out. Soon he lost, you know, he's now worried about what is coming back. He's scared, he's not scared to get a punch. Do you think he's got psychological I think, damage? Yeah, I think he needs to work on that. Can he get, can he overcome that? It's so hard to get, but you know, to overcome that. You know, he needs to work on it because if not, it's going to affect his career. And how does Martin Piccoli go if that fight was made? <laughs> Oh, no car. Wow. Yeah, yeah. no car. Wow. Right, well, let's move on. If you could make a fight today, who would it be against and where would it take place? So if you could make a fight today with any heavyweight, who would it be against and where would it be? Daniel Dubois in the UK, WBA. Nice. Now, yeah. so that's the fight. And obviously, fight. Yeah. that looks like me that he could be fighting Alexander Usyk. Yeah, yeah. Sometime if soon. that not happen, so me, I'm ready. That's the so one I'm you want? On WBA. WBA. You stopped no, him in stop him scoring, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. You can ask his coach, you can ask himself, he will tell you. Wow. Yeah, but I you know what happened in spying is spying. But that's improved that I'll just smash him and knock him out in, wow. the, in the fire, yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Right, let's move on. We've got, some, mm -hmm. we've got a lot of messages coming here, you know. Oh, you my seem, goodness. Seems to be getting very popular, Martin. Yeah, we'll right. slip, yeah. <laughs> this is good. So you're a vegetarian, right? Yeah, I'm a vegetarian. A lot yeah. of people might not know that. Yeah. Well, this person does. What's your fav favourite vegan food? Uh, it's uh, Spanish and uh, cassava, because I'm African. Right. Yeah. Nice. Nice. So there's another kid actually boxing Wait. from Congo as well, Jamie yeah. TKV, a heavy, young heavyweight coming wow. through. You know Jamie? Oh, you know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah I met you ever spied them? No, on? no. I asked him to come to Scotland and, mm. you know, he said he was in an in a AJ's camp. Yeah. And uh, maybe next time after this fight, he'll come to Scotland yeah, for a couple I mean, of days. That yeah. would be good, right? It's two Very Congolese good. fighters and, you know. Ah, yeah. Not only two Congolese, but everywhere, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah because he's learning. I was his level, you know, he's still coming. Five fights, you know, you know five, five fights is uh, zero. Yeah. And he's still learning, so why not help each other? You'd like to help him out? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Brilliant. Brilliant. Yeah. Right, well, listen, another question's in. 
What's your cheat meal? What do you like to eat when you're not in training, when you're... Pizza, veggie pizza. And right. like, veggie burger. Are we going large? Are we going extra large? <laughs> oh, we going, yeah, we're going extra large. We're going extra large, I can Thank see that. You. Billy's, Billy's going like, large, <laughs> going large. Right, let's go, let's move on, let's move on. Um, yeah. Right, who's the hardest hitting cruiserweight you've ever sparred? That's a good in one. The spa, in the sparred, cruiserweight. yeah. In the cruiserweight? Yeah, yeah. The hot, no, the hardest hitting cruiserweight you've ever sparred. So, like, you've sparred Alexander Rusik right. when he was down at cruiserweight. Have yeah, yeah. you sparred David Hay? Have you ever sparred David no, Hay? No, 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 I never, no. I never met him, yeah. Um, in the, in the uh, cruiserweight, it's only Junior Macabre, is my brother. Yeah. So, he's the one who teaches me how to box. He's so heavy handed. He smashed me for one year, really? bad me. Oof. Really? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I thank him because if he didn't done, so if not done that, so I was yeah. not going to be who I am today. Do you know what? My brother was the same. Yeah. My brother was like four years older than me. Yeah. And when I was a kid, like growing up, right up until I would turn professional, he smashed wow. me. And it made me who I was. It. So yeah, it's so it's I relate me, to that. I yeah, understand. telling me, you should, so I'm your brother, yeah, but in the ring, you know my brother. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. I need to, to put that, ma that in your mind because it, you're everywhere that I'm close with. In everywhere, there's no mercy, so. Junior McCarver is your older brother, Junior right? Junior McCarver, yeah. Your older brother. He's my older, yeah, the yeah, first see, one. Yeah, my older brother done the same, and, yeah. and, and he, 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 yeah, he smashed me, and that's out of order, isn't it? Every day, for yeah. one year. <laughs> It's a liberty, really, isn't it? When you yeah. think about it. So yeah, but, when I think about it, if I was the older brother, I'm not sure I would have done that to him. Yeah, but I was so happy, you know. After him, I, I went back to South Africa because yeah. he's living in South Africa, and he asked me if we can, I can say, and we can have spying. I said, Oh, thank God, it's time to pay back. Yeah. So after four hundred, say I will not spy you. I will not spy you anymore. Really? So yeah. <laughs> you said now yeah. you're everywhere. Yeah. You're not with. <laughs> when I sparred my brother, I hired him for his, as a sparring partner because he yeah. retired. He boxed out in Vegas as a pro, and he retired. And I hired him as a sparring partner for one of my European title fights. Wow. And done the same thing. I smashed him up yeah, to my yeah. train. His eyes shut in one of the rounds, and I come back and I said to my trainer, I can't do it no more. <laughs> can't do it. And my trainer went, Do you remember what he used to do to you? Get out there and put him on his back. <laughs> and I went out there and I threw a couple more punches. I went, no, nah, I'm not doing it. Yeah, it's the same, yeah, yeah. same story. Same, man. yeah. Yeah. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Yeah. I don't eat meat, chicken, not <laughs> egg, yeah. So say egg. <laughs> egg, yeah, yeah. egg. What advice would you give to young fighters who are starting out? So someone probably like Jamie TKV, who's on your, you know, yeah. on, on, the, on the, that's further down the bill here and just sort of like, Looking to start out, what what advice would you give these young fighters? Oh no, you know, stay in the gym. Uh, always listen to the coach and do what the coach asks them to do. It's not easy. It's not difficult, but you no, know, push yourself. Mm. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Well, Martin, it's been fantastic, mate. It's been a bit of fun. That I enjoyed that. And, um, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, let's catch up in the week. Best of luck Saturday night. Yes, thank you so brilliant. much. Cheers. Thank you. Okay.